Hi Aries, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and these are your deep thoughts for mid-month June. This is your mid-month June tarot card reading. This is a general reading. This is for the general energy of the sign of Aries. A general reading is just that. It's more, I want to really say, for entertainment purposes only because your real personal reading really may not end up to be anything like this at all. Even though there's an overall energy and a thread, a general reading is not a substitute for a personal reading. So if you see anything in here that you need more clarity, understanding, or confirmation about, and if this is not your reading and you would like your own personal reading, you can feel free to reach out to me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to my channel, there is a link in the box below um, where you can get a 50% discount for being a subscriber to my channel. What else? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Neptune, Chiron, whatever Aries you have in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. And if it doesn't, it's just not your reading, right? Okay, Aries, let's get into this bad boy of a reading and see what the heck is going on with you. Now, I am recording outside in the backyard because it's an absolutely amazing day, and um, I just really wanted to be out in the sunshine, so I apologize for any interfering noises that you may hear ahead of time. All right, Aries. Well, you open up this reading with the Four of Pentacles right here. This Four of Pentacles tells me that you are on lockdown mode, super self-protection lockdown mode when it comes to a new beginning, okay? When it comes to a new beginning. The Two of Pentacles to the King of Cups right here tells me that your emotions are not balanced, right? It's not so much that they're out of whack and not balanced as much as they're just not really balanced, okay? In regards to your lockdown mode in about creating this new beginning, right? The star card says that you have doubts or you're, you're soul searching about the hope that you have for the future of this particular situation. I'm going to call it a relationship, okay? Um, and it can be a relationship to anybody, work, home, family, friends, it doesn't matter. But you're in lockdown and your feelings are unbalanced in regards to the hope that you have for this relationship and its future, in regards to the faith that you have that this is going to run long term. Star card is also about renewal, right? So I kind of tend to feel like maybe this is a pre-existing type of relationship that you are really not sure about, um, about the longevity of or the ability for it to really produce the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness and satisfaction. The temperance card comes in and tells me that you are doing just that. You are you are employing temperance in this situation. You're just sitting on it, right? Not going to jump, not going to do anything. You're just sitting on it because your feelings are unbalanced. Imbalanced, imbalanced. The 10 of swords talks about um you know, thinking about walking away from the whole damn thing. Just thinking about walking away from the whole thing. Eight of Cups reiterates that. Thinking about walking away, putting an end to it, and walking away. This has something to do with an empress type of energy. The empress is all about building, right? And she embodies the... Um, all of the uh, traits and characteristics of all four queens in the tarot. So this empress, it's also the card of Taurus. And some people say it's the card of Libra as well. You might be dealing with a Taurus. You might be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be. But whoever you're dealing with carries the qualities of the empress. She has, she or he, could be, you know, energies are, are interchangeable here. She has the, the empress, has the qualities of the queen of swords, she has her, her, her mental in check, right? She has the quality of the Queen of Cups. She has her emotions in check. She has the quality of the Queen of Fire. She has her passion in check. And she has the quality of the Queen of Pentacles. She has her personal security in check, right? So whoever you're dealing with here is quite a powerful personality. 
the two of wands. The reason that you are sitting on all of this, the reason that your feelings are imbalanced in this situation, the reason you're on lockdown about going forward in a new beginning with this empress person, the reason you're thinking about ending it all and walking away is the two of wands. There are There is fear of the unknown, which goes right back to the star and the nine of cups. There's fear of the unknown that this relationship just isn't going to going to um, um, amount to maybe your expectations of it or I don't know you know with the star card and there being some renewal in here maybe this is something that you have attempted in the past and uh, maybe it ended bad with the ten of swords but either way there's fear of the unknown and the two of swords tells me there's lots of of confusion right indecision and confusion I asked for clarifying cards, and the tarot told me that this King of Wands, which would be you, my friend Aries, in regards to forward motion towards something that they see as a devil energy. I am venturing to say that this devil energy, um, number one, is about the sexuality that is attached to this empress, right? Because you are the emperor, Ari, and this is the empress. It's like match made in heaven, right? So there is a lot of sexuality. This devil card also tells me that you are attached somehow, some way to this empress energy in a way that you see as restrictive, okay? And I believe in the weekly forecast, this whole thing came up, right? This whole thing about an attachment that is a restriction because you're going to have to change something about your um, your lifestyle or your habits, something something is is there that is inhibiting you from going all in on this the hermit you are doing some soul searching and some introspection right five of pentacles tells me that you're withdrawing and that you feel insecure about this whole situation um, the five of pentacles is also about being left out in the cold and like i said maybe with the ten of swords this was something that ended badly because the star card hints to renewal of a relationship with this empress energy um, perhaps this empress left you out in the cold perhaps you left this empress out in the cold in the past or perhaps you're just thinking about leaving this empress out in the cold. These two cards are clarified by the high priestess in your subconscious mind trying to make a decision, right? You're in your intuition, you're in your subconscious mind, you're in the hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection. You're really putting the wood to the fire here, Aries, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do about this particular situation. While you're in the hermit mode with your sit down with the high priestess, you come to a, a decision. This is a judgment call. This is more than just a decision, right? Because sometimes we can go back on decisions. The judgment card, you can't go back on. This is, this is an irrevocable decision that is extremely important to your life. This decision that you make in the hermit mode with your sit down with the high priestess is about whether you want to offer your cup of love or not, right? Well, let's see. Let's let's look at the rest of this Aries and see what it is that you did decide up there. Are you going to give your cup of love or are you going to end it and walk away? Eight of Swords comes in down here at the bottom and it tells me, again, this Eight of Swords, we could actually do it this way if we wanted to because this is all one big thinking party right here, right? It's one big thinking party. So we pick up this bottom row right here with you in the Eight of Swords, which is what you're in right here, right? You're making a decision, you're thinking, you're overthinking, you're weighing all of the options. Now this Eight of Swords is also about breaking free of mental restrictions which, Aries, is what you did right here with this judgment card in the hermit mode, sitting down with the high priestess. You made a decision about whether to offer your cup of love to somebody with the Prince of Cups or not. 
This Eight of Swords tells me that you, you've broken free of these mental challenges because you've made a decision, right? To the Princess of Pentacles, this is about manifesting, okay? And I do believe that all of this up in here has to do with this, right? So this Princess of Pentacles about a, a new manifesting, manifesting something with somebody in the hanged man energy. Actually, let me put these cards back. It's clarified by the hanged man, right? The hanged man is somebody who is about to take action. But what this hanged man energy is contemplating is the three of cups, so that adds a new spin to the story here, Aries. Um, apparently, there is a third energy involved. And it's an insignificant energy because there is not a third energy present anywhere in this reading. And if it was somebody that you were really, really um, thinking about, like if you were weighing the empress to this third person or this third energy, right? It would have shown up in this reading, but it didn't. It only showed up right here, which tells me that you are weighing your options, right? Which might go back to that devil card as to what you have to change in your behavior or not. Maybe you're just afraid of commitment. But this Three of Cups right here is about a third energy. So in the hangman energy, you're weighing your options. If you want to be exclusive with this Empress energy, or if you want to keep yourself open to play the field with the Three of Cups. So now we have the Princess of Swords, right? This Princess of Swords is a mentally restless energy. So right here, you're thinking, you're formulating your words and your thoughts with this Princess of Swords. And then, boom, you're going to spill it with the Prince of Swords. This is action-oriented communication. Action-oriented communication that you are going to take to the Queen of Pentacles. Now, mind you, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, they're like sisters, right? They're like, um, they're, they're sisters. They're, number one, earth energies. Number two, the Queen of Pentacles is just a, a, a bump down from the Empress as far as um, characteristics, personality, um, that kind of thing goes, right? So this is the same person we're talking about here. We're talking about the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the same energy, right? So you are about to unleash some communication to this Queen of Pentacles. The communication that you're going to unleash is messages, passionate messages. Now, granted, these are pages, right? Or, or this is a page, and the Princess of Swords is a page as well. So this is little communications, right? Little communications. You're not going to pour out your heart and have this big, huge, will you marry me conversation. No, these are little messages of, hey, hey there, Empress, hey, you want to uh, want to come over and Netflix and chill, right? <laughs> kind of, kind of, uh, kind of message to this Princess of Pentacles. This Princess of Pentacles to the Prince of Pentacles. This Prince of Pentacles is moving slowly, right? It's a slow moving energy, and it's going forward right? So these messages that you're sending to this Queen of Pentacles Empress energy is, 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 is slow because they're little, right? You just want to start out easy and slow. The Queen of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress, right? So we have the Empress to the Empress to the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The number four is about structure and stability. The four of wands is about creating harmony, union in your life. And it's about a transition. So your messages to this empress, your little bitty messages um, to this empress, to this queen of pentacles, is about moving forward into a more stable 
relationship, okay? Like I said, it's not a will you marry me kind of situation here. It's a, well, I just decided that perhaps maybe there is some hope and some faith and some purpose in the renewal of this relationship. And if it's not a renewal of the relationship, it's the renewal of your feelings in this relationship. I think maybe you could be my nine of cups. You could be my wishes fulfilled. It's not a, a big, a big, huge, uh, you know, public recognition, let's get married kind of thing. It's a very small, slow movement in the direction of coming together with the empress, which is a huge change from thinking about, there was a fly on me, from thinking about putting it to an end, walking away, left out in the cold, right? So there you go, Aries. That is what's going to most likely, if this is your reading, shake down for you in the next two weeks of June. You're going to come to a decision that maybe it is worth um, exploring the energy of this empress. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. Subscribers to my YouTube channel um, can get 50% off the price of a regular reading. So 50 bucks just for you, just for your situation. We'll hook it up. Namaste, my friends.